pacifiers. Use them or lose them. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm just sad. And in this video, we're going to be discussing pacifiers and whether or not you should use them with your baby. Pacifiers can be a controversial topic among parents and today we will be exploring the benefits and the drawbacks of using them. So let's start with the benefits of a pacifier. The number one benefit is that it can be soothing for your baby. It can help to calm them down and help them fall asleep. They can also reduce the risk of sudden infant to death syndrome, otherwise known as SIDS, and provide a source of comfort for babies during time of distress. Number two is a drawback. Pacifiers can interfere with breastfeeding and lead to nipple confusion in infants. Overuse of pacifiers can also lead to dental problems such as misaligned teeth and narrow palates. Okay, so let's talk about how long you should be using a pacifier for. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends waiting until breastfeeding is well established before introducing a pacifier to your baby. It's also important to wean babies off pacifiers by 6 to 12 months of age to prevent dental problems. Now what's the proper way to use a pacifier? It's important that you use a pacifier properly, including ensuring that it is clean and in good condition. Pacifiers should never be dipped in sweet substance or placed in a baby's mouth while they're sleeping. Okay, so what alternatives can you use if you choose not to use a pacifier? If you choose not to use a pacifier, there are other ways you can suit your baby that includes swaddling, rocking, and skin-to-skin -skin contact. You might also find that your baby enjoys sucking on their own fingers or even their toes. Now, if you do choose to use a pacifier with your baby, you have to ensure that you're choosing the right one. How do you do this? Well, you will just have to ensure that you're choosing one that is appropriate for your baby's age and stage of development. And you can usually find the appropriate age range written on the package. It is also very, very important, guys, that you choose a pacifier that is easy to clean and does not have small parts that could be a choking hazard for your baby. Now let's talk quickly about pacifiers and the sleep. Pacifiers are helpful in helping babies fall asleep, but should never be used as a substitute for other safe sleep practices, such as placing babies on their backs to sleep and removing all loose bedding and soft objects from your baby's crib. Pacifiers can be a point of contention among parents with different parenting styles. It is important to respect other parents' decisions regarding pacifier use and to make decisions based on what works best for them and their family. Now, how do you break a pacifier habit? If your child becomes too dependent on their pacifier, it can be challenging to break that habit. It is important that you wean them off gradually and offer other sources of comfort, such as a lovey or a blanket. In the end, the decision to use a pacifier is a personal one that should be based on your baby's needs and your own parenting style. Remember to use pacifiers safely and responsibly and be prepared to wean your child off them by 6 to 12 months. Pacifiers can be a very helpful tool for soothing your baby, but they can also have drawbacks. Whether or not you choose to use a pacifier is a personal decision that you will have to make based on what is best for your family. And that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.